next round, Millennium Development Goals cannot sensibly take the guise of being very like what happened uh, 15 years ago. Uh, we have to accommodate those things, like the factors of democracy, human security, human rights, remain extremely important. The fact that they may not be as easy to measure, I think, is quite important. So you have to make more room for those things which would be ranked rather than treated like heights and weights. And it can be done. I think we can tell between less democracy or more democracy. If one were to say that China's achievements have been very great in raising per capita income as well as raising education and healthcare, which uh, often China doesn't get credit for. There is an issue of uh, opposition of politics and, and human rights that still remains important. That's not denigrating China, it's just saying where the achievements are and where the problems to be more fully addressed remain. So I think that's the kind of thing we need and that would require somewhat more sophisticated statement of the Millennium Development Goals rather than just reading off like a laundry list of things to do. You know, the goal is language, is not just numbers. I think what we have to remember is that human conversation takes the form of one sentence against another. Human insecurity in Greece is intolerable. That's a statement. The conversation doesn't go saying 126, no, no, 175, no, no, maybe 132, that's my last one. It doesn't go like that. And to think that human conversation could be replaced by just those numbers rather than which description is a mistake. Mm -hmm.